Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what we have here. We have a Nexpeak 20 amp smart battery charger. And we're gonna look at this today. So looking at some of the specifications on the side of the box, you can see here that it is model number NC301 and it is an automatic battery charger. Uh, it can do lithium ion, lithium iron phosphate, and even lead acid batteries. And it can charge up to a maximum of 20 amps, but can also charge at variable uh, amperages, including five, 10, and 20. So opening up the box, let's see, it just has some packaging. This is the charger itself. And then I guess, let's see, here's some wiring. Yeah, here's the wires and here is a little booklet pamphlet, which looks fairly substantial. It's probably in multiple languages. We'll take a look at that. And what do we have here? Some little terminals. And this is the charger itself. It does look like it has a little bit of plastic on the screen here. Take that off, put that aside. And this is a very nicely sized charger. It's lightweight, uh, not overburdensome. Let's see, it does come with a little power cable here, and this is the uh, battery cables uh, that you connect into it. And so we're gonna take a look at this and charge up some batteries today. So looking at the little manual here, it does look like it's in several languages. It has some specifications, some safety uh, information here, and then just how to use. The steps involved are just uh, uh, connected to the battery, uh, select the amperages. So looking on the charger itself, you can see there's a little switch here that goes has three positions, one, two, three and you can see the amperages here. And uh, you can see at the lower end, it's three amps to five amps. Now, uh, this represents the different voltages of your battery. So it will charge at three amps for a 24 uh, volt battery and five amps at a 12 volt battery uh, at this setting. At the medium setting, it's it would be the um, five amps for the 24 volt and 10 amps for the 12 volt. And at the highest level, it would be the 10 amp uh, for the 24 volt and 20 amps for the 12 volt. And on it automatically detects what kind of battery you have it plugged into. It's either the 12 volt or the uh, 24 volt. So that was step two, where you basically select which kind of charging level. Uh, the higher the amperage switch you select, the faster the charge will be. Uh, sometimes you want to definitely charge it at a slower rate than a higher rate, so you can have that selection. After that, you just plug in the device, and then you will hit the modes. Uh, now there are the three, or actually four modes. There's the lithium ion battery mode, the uh, AGM or uh, acid lead uh, battery or the lithium iron phosphate battery. There's also a repair mode. Now, if your battery is not charging properly, it might have a lot of sulfation buildup in it. And this repair mode might be able to solve or improve your battery performance. Uh, it doesn't work with all batteries, but it does have this option for this charger. So looking at the charger on the left side, it does have a fan, so it does help uh, cool the unit. And this looks like the power uh, jack right here. And on the right side is the jack for the charger cables themselves to the battery. Okay, so plugging the unit in, we just plug it on the side here. And there you go, it has woken up and you can see it kind of had the initial display. And because it's not connected to any battery, it will display off. Now, uh, right now it is on the lithium iron phosphate setting here. Uh, you can see the little light right there. Now it does remember the last settings uh, you had put it on, so it does have that memory. Of course, the switch here uh, doesn't have the memory for that. So we'll just keep it at, we'll just stick it at the medium level right now. And then as you hit the mode button, you could see it went to the repair. Here's the, I don't know if you could see this, but that's lithium ion. And then it goes to lead. 
and then back to the lithium iron phosphate. So that's just basically how you select it. You just hit this little mode button and it switches which battery you want to charge. Now we're going to start testing this one on a lithium iron phosphate battery. This is a 100 uh, amp hour uh, unit and it is a 12 volt or 12.8 volt. And I like this one because it does have a battery display. If you hit this, you can see that it is at 13.4 volts at 77% charge. And so it's mostly charged up, but we're gonna get this to 100%. Uh, and so we're gonna plug this in and see how well this charger works. Now this battery is largely charged, so I'm gonna just keep it at the medium level, which is the 10 amps. Uh, we'll go ahead and plug in the little cables here on the side. It only goes in one way, so it is positive negative there. We'll stick that there and we will, let's see, connect the negative first. Go ahead and connect the negative and then the positive. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and plug in the power. It, I, let's see, it's off. It actually looks like it has detected uh, the battery. Uh, it looks like it has a little charging display. I do have it set at the lithium iron phosphate. You could change it uh, to which uh, one you want. So we'll go ahead and do that. The fan has turned on so you could feel the fan. And so right now uh, it says 9.9 uh, .9 amps, which is close to the 10 amps. It's actually telling the temperature of the uh, battery. And so it's 14.2 volts. Now it's at 10 amps. And so you can see it's almost fully charged. Uh, the battery itself said 77%. This is flashing right above 80%. Let's see if I can show you that. So you can see that it accurately identifies basically how much charge this battery has to go. For lithium, batteries um, it will automatically stop now for lead acid batteries uh, it will reach a certain voltage and then do a trickle charge so it won't 100% uh, stop uh, for lead acid battery but, but will provide a trickle charge after the full charge has been reached but for the uh, lithium iron uh, phosphate batteries it should stop once it's fully charged. So we'll just go ahead and wait for this thing to charge up. And you can see right here on the battery itself, it was at 77 and now it's at 82. So that's just after a couple minutes. Uh, so it's already starting to increase the charge. I do want to note that uh, the charger is a little bit loud, the fan. So uh, you may want to stick this in someplace. You don't mind the noise. Uh, it is a pretty loud fan, so that's perhaps a negative on this charger, but just something for you to note. I did want to show you that it does have the 12 volt uh, little indicator light here, so I assume if this was a 24 volt battery, it would change. So it does identify the battery uh, based on voltage automatically, so you don't have to do those selections. And there you go, apparently it's full. Okay, and so looking at my little LCD display here, it's giving me 100% charge at 14.2 volts. Uh, this display isn't all that accurate, so I'll go ahead and check it with the multimeter. Let's go ahead and check it. It is giving me 13.43 volts, so 0.2 volts, so. 13.5 about, and it's still, well, it's displaying 13.9 volts on there. So it at least uh, got me to 100% on this display at about 13.5 volts before the charger turned off. So that's pretty good. Let's go to a lead acid battery. Okay, so next up is this old 12 volt lead acid battery. Now this thing was giving me problems originally. I took it out of a car, which wasn't really starting well. So this one has some issues. I am thinking of trying this on the repair mode 
and seeing what I get. So let's go ahead and hook this thing up. up. Okay, I got it hooked up. I think I'm going to switch this actually to 20 amps since I don't know if it has a lot of charge in it. Go ahead and plug this thing in. And saying off, here we go. Now it's starting. Actually, I have to change the modes. There we go. Okay, so it's doing a pulsing process for the repair. Uh, the little manual says it might take about four hours to complete this process. So we'll come back and uh, see what the results are at the end. Okay, so it's been in repair mode for well over four hours, probably closer to five hours, and it's still giving me the PLU indicator and it's showing, uh, it looks like repair. I think the PLU means um, pulse, but uh, I, I think it's probably as repaired as it uh, can get. I'm not sure if this is supposed to turn off once it reaches a certain level, but we'll go ahead and switch it to uh, the lead charge uh, setting so just move it to over and see what happens there and there it's saying it is full so it must be fully charged we'll go ahead and test the voltage with the multimeter and see what we get so trying to do this with one hand touch the probes and see what the reading is it is showing me 13.5 13.5 so that is I guess what it's calling fully charged and so yes indeed the um, the battery charge repaired and charged this battery so I don't know if this battery is fully repaired let's say if I stick it in a car and utilize it to start a car whether it will consistently start the car for a long period of time I don't know but uh, the repair process on the charger seemed to at least get it to 13.5 uh, volts, which I guess is a good thing. And there you go. That is the next peak 20 amp battery charger model NC301. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye bye.